called the Nipper Sport V4. Uh, this buggy seemed to be quite popular. Um, there's a park run uh, right near our house. I believe it's the original park run uh, where it all started. And there seemed to be two buggies that were very popular. One had quite big, very thin wheels and we wanted a running buggy that we could also use for off-road, uh, beach, forest trips. Um, and this will also be our holiday buggy. So we're planning at the moment to not get one with little wheels like the Easy Fold. We're gonna hopefully still be able to do holidays where we go a bit more off-roady, uh, maybe do some hikes and things. And we wanted something that would be suitable for that as well. Uh, so after bits of reviews and research, we decided to go for this one. Uh, so this we ordered from Amazon. Uh, it came from a company that's golf, golf gear for less slash baby things spelt with a Z. Um, I'll try and put the link in below if it'll allow me. Uh, we went for the sort of the out and about Nipper Sport V4 in raven black, um, and we also got the matching foot muff. I made the mistake of not ordering the foot muff originally with our other buggy, and it took I think six weeks or something four to six weeks for the foot muff to arrive and it already started getting cold and it literally arrived like two days before we had a really cold day where I was just like, I can't take her out of that foot muff. Um, first world problems. Uh, so, right, let's get to the unpacking exciting bit. So this is the foot muff, come in like a separate bag. So it lines the actual buggy, which I didn't realise foot muffs did. I thought it was just a zip over the top, but I learned that with the last buggy. Um, so nice, nice and soft line, nice and comfortable, um, and then it's got all the bits to like attach it in. It's a foot muff, it's not I suppose much you can say about it. If the baby could talk, she'd probably be able to give you a better review. But it looks quite jazzy, it looks quite chic, it's got the little emblem sort of stitched on in metallic gold. It's quite nice. Uh, so that one was 54, 54.99. So it's like a sixth of the price of the buggy just foot muff which does seem a bit expensive but it is like quite nicely lined and I suppose it's kind of important. So lots and lots of bits and pieces. So it does come with a rain cover. I had read on other reviews that it came with a rain cover but actually in the description on Amazon it didn't seem to say whether it did or not. And I found that on most adverts for it, it didn't say that it did. So I just presumed that as the review said it did, it did, and I couldn't find anywhere to buy it separately. So it does, this one does. Um, so if I have linked it below, <laughs> then it, this one comes with a rain cover. And then I'll show you these. So these are the main wheels. So there's two that hopefully, from what I've worked out, these just like clip in, clip out. Um, because the buggy doesn't come fold very well without taking, you basically have to take all three wheels off it to fold. But when it does fold, it folds really well. Um, so it's not the sort of thing you're gonna be able to fold with one foot on and off the bus, but the buggies that do that aren't gonna suit what we need. So it just, yeah, six or one. Um, but yeah, nice robust wheels, they feel nice and strong, um, but they're nice, they're, they're like, a, like a mountain bike, so I still feel like we're going to be able to do the things we've got to do. Um, so the wheels are nice and strong, so there's two that pop in, and then this one, uh, like you have to screw, a little bit of screwing involved just to tighten it in, this is the, the front fixed wheel. main buggy. Um, it's really light, it's really light. Um, our buggy, I love our buggy, but I'm, I'm sure I'll do a proper review of that at some point, but I'm always using it. Uh, it's not the lightest buggy in the world. It would not work if you had like apartment stairs to go up or anything. And this, we wanted something that was easy uh, to lug about and better for like the plane and things. Um, so we have care and maintenance manual and two screws that's worrying with me and my screwdriver um, 
Now lots of people online make this look really easy, but then they've done it before. Okay, that was really easy. Um, clip that side down. Clip that side down. Okay, that was pretty easy. So this is the main frame up. Uh, we've got a handle, which has got paper and stuff on that I've got to take off, but it's got a handle, uh, like a handle brake, which is quite nice when we went to where I grew up down in the New Forest, we were visiting Lemington and it's quite a big, the high street is on this very steep hill and it's a little bit scary going down it knowing you haven't got, you kind of want to cling on for dear life because there's no handbrake like where your hand is, there's also no wrist strap around the buggy, so this one's got a wrist strap as well, a wrist strap and a little brake as standard, you don't have to add those on. There's, there's like this little complicated bit, but I don't think I have to do anything with any of them. I will double check everything. All like the seat and everything's in. I presume that's like extra padding to go in the seat. Yeah, so like an extra padding one, which we will put in because the little one's only six months. Um, and I presume you would just have that. And oh, I'm guessing so you can take it out and wash it. That'd be a lot easier. Um, but yeah, that was really easy to put that bit up. Hopefully, the rest of it will go on. Um, I think I better open like the care and maintenance manual. I got it now. <laughs> so these little doodars, which I thought were really clever, um, are not required. They're actually just some sort of fancy stopper, which wasn't very obvious. They look like they did something clever. Uh, so you're just left with this, and, and you literally lock it into a clip. That's easy. There's a little red lever you press and it comes out. That's, that's scarily simple. Okay. On the normal out and about, you can lock the wheel or have it on a swivel. With the running one, it's just fixed, so that's fine. I don't need to do that. There we go. Ah, oh, okay. So this is where we need the screws. I'm going to go back upside down for this. Yeah, 
Sehr geehrte Damen und Herren, ich begrüße Sie zu So you just unclip all the five bits of the harness and then basically thread it on to the straps making sure the velcro is down. Uh, so if your kid's bigger there's like two straps here where you can you just push those through, get the little thingy off and push it through so that they're higher up. Um, So I, I think I made that look a lot harder than it was. Basically you just thread everything, you take it all apart so you've got five things to thread um, and then you thread the five things through, two bits of velcro that stick down um, and then adjust your harness to your small one and also the time of year depending on like how much they're going to be, they're going to be wearing. Um, I actually move the strap holders up on my little one as soon as I put her in it but I'll remember like the first time you put small in to give yourself a bit more time before you get out the door. I've got this one last piece to attach. So it looks like something or other moves but then it doesn't want to in it doesn't seem to. I think those are literally just so you can get the bar to clip in. Um, so that looks quite good. Um, I presume if they were a little bit bigger, no, I probably still want that. I feel like if you if the buggy rolls or anything, that's like your extra sort of hard buffer between like your your kid and the ground, the pavement, a wall, a tree. Ideally, you're not going to run your buggy into any of these things. This seems quite safe, like it would manage those things, but let's not test it uh, with a real child anyway. So um, I think that's everything. Um, I will do like a review of how we're actually finding using it. We're going to use it for running. We're also going to use it for off-roading. So we really will put it through its paces, and then next year we'll take it on holiday with us as our like holiday buggy. The wheels come off. It does fold down quite small. Um, but let's see if I find it as easy to fold down and things as they say it is online. But so far, I'm really pleased with it. It's a nice size. Uh, it does fold down quite small. It's um, so yeah, so far really pleased, but uh, we'll see how it actually fares when we get out of the road. So there's a few little additional features. We've got this little viewing panel up here so you can see what's going on with the small one. Up the top there's lots of different pockets, so you've got little zip ones and there's just some little slot ones as well for your bits. The handlebar is adjustable but you have to press both buttons. Then you've got the brake, the little wrist strap and then that little red pedal at the bottom is another brake. So thank you for watching, we hope you've enjoyed the video. Please hit like if you found it in any way mildly entertaining or at all helpful. Do subscribe for our weekly updates. We love hearing from you so please pop in the comments if you have any questions about the actual use of this buggy. You can also come and find us on Instagram. Hopefully we'll see you again soon.